Hi everyone, this is Costa from Solitech Solutions and within this blog I'm just going to take you through how to take this existing geometry here which appears to be quite complex and create flat patternable uh, geometry out of it or a sheet metal part. Um, now upon inspection initially uh, when you look at these surfaces it appears as though they are curved however if you look at how this was constructed you can see that it has a linear edge or a combination of linear edges and it's actually it's been swept along a linear path uh, with the option of twist in the sweep command. So one of the requirements to flat pattern um, a piece of geometry is that it's a developable surface or that it's um, linear in one direction. So this is linear in one direction, although it appears that it's not. Now, if you have a look at all the different sheet metal features, um, they all have different requirements and uh, for all the sheet metal features in 2011 and 2012 um, it's not possible to actually create um, flat patternable geometry out of this uh, except with the exception of the lofted bend command uh, and the reason is they all have different requirements such as they require either a linear edge or a planar face for the fixed face etc um, even the swept flange command requires that the path is contained within the one plane uh, so what we're going to do is use the lofted bend command, um, extract the edges, convert them to uh, 3D sketch entities. Now one of the requirements for the lofted bend command is that you have one open contour per 3D sketch and you require two 3D sketches and it lofts between those two 3D sketches. So one approach may be to go into your sketch tab, um, create a 3D sketch, select these edges, convert the entities and you keep doing this and you'd have to double up on the segments that connect um, so you can imagine this is a little bit tedious to do another approach or a faster way to do this is to use the face curves command and with the face curves command uh, basically what this does is um, it takes a face and a face is composed of curves in two directions um, and what we want to do is just extract the curves in one of the directions which is the two curves on the edges so if we uncheck this pink section uh, and we just input two, which are the two edges, uh, we can extract these and automatically places them in two 3D sketches. So we can re repeat this for all the curves that we have, all the surfaces, sorry, that we want to create sheet metal parts out of. Uh, and then we'll have the six sketches to create our lofted bend for each of them. So I can just go ahead and hide this existing geometry and just start applying my lofted bends. So we'll just hide these as we go along. And it's pretty quick. And now we have our three sheet metal body segments and they can all be flat patterned. Um, but one issue that we run into when we do do this is that the way the lofted bend uh, sort of creates the sheet metal creates some unwanted material at the end and it also creates interference between the three sheet metal bodies so um, one approach of eliminating the interference is to use the indent command um, so with the indent command you have to select the target body and this is the body that is going to be cut um, have the cut option toggled on and then select the tool body region as well so that yellow portion is going to be eliminated from the target body so we'll just eliminate that repeat for this next one and now we have a multi-body part without interference and a way to verify this is to quickly create an assembly uh, use interference detection make sure you've got include multi-body part interferences <coughs> checked and then go ahead and calculate that and it might take a couple of seconds and you can see that it's <coughs> it doesn't have any interferences 
So we'll close down this assembly, come back to this. Now, uh, the next thing <coughs> in cleaning up this geometry is that it's created this unwanted material at the end. So what we can do here is use a bunch of surfacing commands uh, basically to cut away uh, those portions. So we'll just hide the sheet metal bodies, take the original geometry and go to our surfaces command and just create zero offsets of these two surfaces here. So now we have two surface bodies. Um, and basically what we want to do now is extend these uh, just because we're going to use them to cut the solid. And now we can just use the thicken cut um, command to cut however much we want off that and similar thing at the bottom uh, and basically you've got your end result okay thanks for watching